All right, so welcome back to our channel, the Ships Peters TV. So now we have a new job order from Sika Engineer to repair or to investigate the problem of wheeling pump why they cannot uh, take suction and also why also they have no discharge. So now I'm here in the location where the wheeling pump is in where the pump is uh, in place and they keep it in the corner because uh, they cannot use. So when I came here to assist so what is the problem? So I cannot see or I cannot point out what is the causes of this uh, wheelie pump not, to, not uh, working anymore so we need to bring this wheelie pump in my workshop just to dismantling and uh, investigate what have inside and if I found any problem so we try to rectify or modify if uh, we can uh, do it so now I already dismantling this pump so I found out the, pro the main problem of this wheeling pump why it cannot take suction and also cannot discharge because of this uh, bulb seat so I inspect already the suction is already good and good condition also the discharge line there's no any clog or blockage and also the body i found out that the already uh, good condition also the actuator or uh, shifter of this diaphragm is already 95% good and also the diaphragm there's no any hole or damage uh, from this uh, diaphragm so all, all, all of that is uh, in 95% uh, condition but I found out the prob the main problem is the bulb seat like this. So the bulb seat is cannot seal correctly or properly because of some portion that uh, eaten by the, the acid. Because this pump is used for uh, taking taking uh, suction from from scrubber overboard and they take suction from there to passing to the sampling so the problem is the water is coming out from scrubber has the ratio of acid about 4 to 5 so that's why this aluminum at this cannot be sustained the acid water that's why this uh, bulb seat is already gone so as you seen the ceiling ball have uh, four pieces the black one that's round one that is a ceiling ball the three is is equal size and one is smaller so as you seen there one is smaller this is one this is smaller than the tree so this is, that is also the main cause that that's why I cannot uh, take good suction because of uh, leaking because this you know this is a small one and the big one the big bulbs bulb set so cannot be sell properly so uh, as of now uh, my plan is to make new bulb seat by the use of Teflon materials like this 
this teflon materials this is solid teflon so it can be used also in as a bulb sheet because teflon also can sustain the acid from the scrubber so it, it is suitable to use as bulb sheet so now I prepare to making new bulb sheet so this bulb sheet has uh, 30 degrees uh, angle so that the ceiling bowl will be fit fit and seal properly so as, oh, as I see that the three ceiling bowls is equal size and one ceiling bowl is small so we try to make special to the small ceiling bowl so that they can also fit the the bowl inside the bulb set so now I try to make the three bulb set equal size and equal size of the hole and I make one for the special bulb set for the small bowl or small ceiling bowl so now I already start of making this bulb set as you see there and I use the high speed rotation of my lit machine so that uh, it will be nice or smooth uh, appearance to my new bulb set as you see there I try to make a group for the pouring because that uh, portion of the o-ring this o-ring is uh, used for like gasket so so now the this is the o-ring that I fit inside so it's okay now then I I cut this uh, teflon so that uh, I can uh, be replace the aluminum bulb set. So almost I completed, and uh, now I almost completed the four bulb set. The three bulb set is uh, equal size and equal diameter, while the other one is small small hole but uh, equal diameter that one the last I put this is this is the small hole because the ceiling bowl is all also small so I'm surprised why it it is happen like this maybe they try to uh, replace ceiling bowl and they, they didn't notice that the ceiling bowl is smaller than the tree so for me there's no any problem because I fabricate the special bulb set for the small ceiling ball so now it's already finished and I show you the new bulb set that I make and the last one is different from the tree so this tree is same same size and this one is small size because I fit the small ceiling bowl from there so this is the old one that I taken out from the wheeling pump so as you see there the bulb seat is cannot be used again because uh, almost in maximum wear limit and also cannot be used also because uh, the side and the lips of the mechanical uh, bulb seat 
is only God because of acid passing all the time. So you know, uh, the acid is very corrosive when it comes to passing the aluminum. So aluminum cannot sustain the acid see, during operation because uh, this uh, pump we install almost uh, three months. So in three months the lost the bulb set. So now I try to make it a new bulb set by the use of teflon. So now this is the suction. The bulb must be put inside and the bulb set that, that we make we put outside. So that is the suction suction side. When the pump when the diaphragm moving back and forth the suction is uh, open and the and the discharge is uh, closed when the suction is closed then the time the discharge ceiling bowl is open so that is the welding pump works like that so when the pump taking suction the, dis the discharge will be in closed position when the time the the welding pump take the suction and put in the chamber and the time the suction ceiling bowl will be closed and the discharge bowl or discharge ceiling bowl will open so that's why the suction must be closed so that the pressure from the diaphragm will push up the liquid so that's why they take discharge uh, pressure so that is the problem of this is opposite when the, the suction is closed the discharge is open when the suction is open the discharge is closed like this so that is the uh, function of the ceiling ball and bulb set so how does uh, welding pumps works the welding pumps works the compressed air is supplied directly to the liquid column that is separated by the elastometric diaphragm so the diaphragm the uh, the other side is liquid and other side is air so that is uh, when posing this uh, liquid when posing the air in other side and push to the side of the liquid the liquid will be goes up so it means that the time it will be discharge discharge uh, form so when the liquid pushing the this other side pushing to the air side it means that ticking suction so ticking suction when the air push push then push in the liquid side so the liquid it will be goes up and goes to discharge line that is the pump works so the diaphragm act as the separation of the membrane between the compressed air and liquid so that uh, it will be balanced load removes mechanical stress from the diaphragm so the the compressed air moves the diaphragm away from the center of the pump so that is the welding pumps works so how does the air operated double diaphragm works seem like ours this uh, welding pump is a double diaphragm so a do uh, double diaphragm is is a positive displacement pump which utilizes two flexible diaphragm that reciprocate back and forth creating the temporary chamber when the 
both draw in expelled fluid through the pumps so that is the double diaphragm works so now I start to boxing up this welding pump so that uh, it will be try trying that our new bulb, bulb seat is work so now I try to boxing up so the first thing to do I boxing up is the diaphragm so the diaphragm there is a marking there air side and liquid side so ang so the air side must be in the inner inner side so from the outside of the diaphragm is the liquid side so as you seen my as you seen that i fixed there that is liquid side so at the back of that is a uh, air side so the air is uh, pushing back and forth so when the post that diaphragm it means that the liquid is pushing up so that is the discharge uh, cycle when the when the diaphragm is moving moving in it means that the take uh, suction then diaphragm moving out it means that diaphragm is discharged yeah, like that this is the how this diaphragm works like that so now I put the suction suction uh, side or the cover of the diaphragm so the one that I put um, new bulb seal is the one in the bottom side so the bottom side is the suction and this two must be the bulb is in the bottom side this one so this one is uh, going to up so the bulb is in down in suction so that is the the way how to fix a welded pump welding pump anyway this welding pump is if you try two times three times like this uh, it's very easy to learn this uh, welding pump it's very easy and very uh, how to feel this one it's very nice to assemble than the other pump it's very handy or friendly welding pump because uh, this uh, welding pump is also a global leader in sanitary hygienic and biopharmaceutical air operated double diaphragm this code is AODD so it, it means that air operated double diaphragm that's why they call it as uh, EODD so now I'm uh, almost uh, done now then uh, we try to start this wooden pump by actual uh, bringing uh, water in the bucket and taking suction in the bucket and also the discharge in the bucket so that we can uh, determine if this wooden pump is uh, working properly and it will be in uh, good condition so mostly this is not my first time to make it like this mostly of my ship I do it uh, like this because uh, you know the the aluminum it will be not uh, longer time to use when 
when the acid or the salt is being is being passed to the chamber so anyway uh, this pump is almost done so after this I try to make uh, some uh, arrangement for this action and this charge and then we try out if this uh, pump is working properly so now I try to tighten these uh, bolts and, and then uh, I must to fabricate also the the connection of the suction and the discharge so now I try to take some spanner to tighten this four uh, bolts so now I almost uh, finished to tight then uh, we try to put some fittings in uh, discharge the one that I put fittings that is uh, discharge and we try to also put some fittings from the suction the one that I tied is suction side and the top is that is the, the discharge so now we try to try out ito po ang channel ng Ships PTO TV ako po ay nagpusong nagpapasalamat kung maklik ninyo ang subscribe button sa baba so the one that I put that is the suction and also the post that I holding is discharge so we try in crack open air so now as you see that is uh, working so it means that the bulb set that uh, that we make is working properly so so now this uh, welding pump it can be used again as a normal welding pump so that is only crack open when I put in almost full so the discharge also uh, become good discharging so if we little bit uh, open the air air bulb so the discharge also become a fast pace on a and also high pressure as you see there is uh, almost half open of the bulb uh, air bulb So that, this is the welding pump that we make it so the bulb set and also the gasket o-ring is intact and there's no sign of leaking so it means that our job is doing well and also has a good result so as you see there has a good uh, discharging and good suction so this pump is considered to be as new one now. So as you see there the air bulb is almost 40% open. So that's all that I show you guys on how to repair this wheelie pump and hope that uh, you got the proper idea and by the way this is the bulb old bulb seat that i replaced is almost uh, damaged and also it cannot be used again because of some uh, parts that uh, eaten by acid water so this pump is used for suction from the overload line of 
scrubber. Alright, so ito na. Nasubukan na natin yung wheeling pump na ginawa natin. Ay okay siya. Ayan. Ayan na. Magana na. Crack open lang ang in-open ko doon sa hangin upang hindi siya masyagong tumatalsik kasi pag uh, lakasan tumatalsik yung tubig ayan ah, at yung pinakita alright so thank you very much uh, to all the viewers and to all my subscribers watching this video and if you don't uh, understand what I'm doing so just uh, comment below so that I can uh, reply right away when uh, I'm online ito po ang channel ng Ships Peter TV ako po ay nagpapasalamat kung maklik ninyo ang subscribe button sa baba